How's it going everybody? So glad you could be here. Thank each and every single one of you and I mean every one of you for coming. So greatly appreciated. I did a video where I did put the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions black ceramic acrylic polish on my car and I'll put that video up there so you can see it. And at the end of that video I showed how good the polish actually did and you know in any lighting anything can look good so i wanted to show you during the daylight right brought up daylight here we are at lunchtime and i wanted to show you how good it actually looked before we got on with the wax so here we go you ready for this i don't think you're ready for it i really don't but here you go look at that i mean it looks like i just waxed it it really does and i'm assuming that's the the uh ceramic properties the sio2 properties that this polish has in it that's making it pop the way that it's popping that's the only thing i can assume but man look at this shine on that bad boy oh my goodness i've never gotten that from a polish before but like i said i'm assuming that that's partly from the the ceramic properties that's in it the sio2s so with that said let's get on with today's video which is applying the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Acrylic Ceramic Spray Wax. You guys have got to come up with shorter names for this stuff, especially if you want old people like me to do this. <laughs> so let's get to it. Now, I have a little bit of a bone to pick, and it's, it's minor, and it's something that's silly, I know, but it has to do with their packaging. Now, right here, you have the directions. You clearly say directions right there. Then it has hand application, machine application, and note. For the hand application, you just apply three dime-sized drops and rub it in, two foot square by two foot square, or two foot by two foot rather area and then you know you work it in buff it off machine you do four dime size do a two foot by two foot wipe it off nowhere and i repeat nowhere in the instructions or directions does it say to let it set 24 hours nowhere If you come right here to the notes section right there allow paint to cure for 24 hours before applying an additional coat or topper okay they sell this is in a kit you get this and the wax and part of it and they want you to allow it to set for 24 hours in between this and your topper but they don't put it in the directions now, turtle wax you might want to rethink that on your next line of products because that's pretty important bit of information to know because if you know like if everybody does stuff like i would you know you go in you grab it you read the instructions and you go you don't read all that fine print down at the bottom that tells where it was made and active ingredients and all that most people don't read that 24 hours is an important bit of information because if i'd have turned around and went ahead and put the wax on I do not know what would have happened you guys do and it could have been a big mess and then i would have been sitting here bashing the product saying oh i don't know why everybody thinks this product's so good look what it did to me 24 hours needs to be in the instructions or directions however you want to word it that's my only caveat or complaint today we're going to be installing this now for those that don't know how i acquired this it was given away in a contest in a black box form you got this the polish a couple pads a couple microfibers and uh, a gentleman uh, whose name is keith goes by a75 fire on instagram or keith firebird on youtube he actually won it but he didn't have a black car so he ended up sending it to me which is an absolutely great great gesture i really appreciate it 
Now I've already applied the prop polish and I'll put the video up there so you can check it out if you care to. It's an amazing product. It, it worked really good. Now keep in mind whenever you use a polish it doesn't have a lot of abrasive so you might have to work it a little bit more or if you have deeper scratches you might want to use a compound or something along those lines to get rid of those scratches before you use this polish. Because all these products are SiO2 infused and I used the polish it made the color pop which is what the polish is for it made the, it made the, the color darken it brought it back to life if you will but it also put in some sio2 properties like i said so could you use this as a standalone i am assuming that you could for a while with in other words not putting wax on it because this car is really slick as it is now and i'm gonna give you a quick shot of it there you go as you can see the shine and stuff on it and the color is just wonderful just wonderful but I think it can be better and that's where this comes in now, I'm gonna read the instructions to you and this is where I'm gonna have issue the packaging looks great it really does but it's in the information where I have the issue as you can see hybrid solutions black paint color enhancement and protection directions this is where you should be getting all your information on how to apply right wash and dry car shake well for best results do not over apply active formula use two sprays per panel this stuff does go a long way and whenever you factor in the cost and how far this product really goes you get a great value for your your money spread and wipe with a clean folded microfiber cloth for more cleaning and feel allow to haze lightly or allow to lightly haze in other words, the longer you leave this product on and let it haze over, the more imperfection filling and hiding you will get. And I'll get back to that in just a second. Use a separate microfiber cloth to remove fold cloth as needed. And that's it. That's your directions. Right? To make that car look really, really good. And wrong. They've hidden something in here that they should have put up there in the directions. Can be used on wheels, exterior trim, and plastics, which is great because, you know, if you get overspray or whatever, or you just want to protect everything on your car, you can spray your whole car down, except for the windows. Allow paint to cure for 24 hours before washing or applying an additional coat. That right there is where I have issue. Let me read it again. Allow paint to cure for 24 hours before washing or applying an additional coat. That should have been up in the directions. Should have been the very last thing and said in the directions. Because as I said, you get this as a kit. You get the polish and it has the same thing down in the note. It doesn't have it in the directions. And that's what I have issue with. Other than that, so far I am pleased with the product. Look at it. I mean, oh my goodness. So let's get to this. Now if you look back just a little bit, this is actually the third video that I've done on this product. But the second product as far as a, a video as applying. And the first one is me getting the product, explaining what I was in it, and what you need to do before applying the polish. The second video, and like I said, I'll put all these down in the, the comment box below. The second video is actually me applying the polish. And then this video will be actual applying the wax. And the reason I did it in such was because, number one, I didn't have time to do it all at once. I've got other things that I've, I'm working on, as you can see so i just didn't have time and it's a good thing because i read the directions but i didn't read the whole label major major mistake on detailing products and i know better i know better i know better and i always read the full label on these products this time i didn't i just read the directions and rolled with it. but it's a good thing that i had other things to do because i wouldn't have allowed it for 24 hours to dry because this product the, the polish i actually put on friday today's sunday so it's had over 24 hours to cure so let's get to applying this bad boy and i'm gonna start on the hood because that's the easiest place for me to show you how this does and then i will either put it in slow-mo or just stop the video altogether and then come back with the finished product i'm not sure got the product two microfiber towels i'm only gonna need one to start with with this being a large hood rather than a panel i'll probably give it like two and a half uh, spritzes 
and then I'll move over to the other side. But as you can see, shake the product really good. Put it over on spray, and let's see what happens. And this product has black pigments in it to help hide imperfections. So that's why you don't want it to dry. On a lighter colored thing like the stripes. But all we're looking to do here is spread the product. So be sure to do it in a crosshatch pattern. That's all we're looking for it to do. And then you wait on it to haze over. If you look right there, you can see where it's already hazing over. But while I wait on this side, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. And you can see there's black already in this rag. Now, as you can see, this is already hazed over. I've already given it one swipe. And that's what you're looking for and by doing this outside today that's just going to help promote the drying but i've got the whole hood i went ahead and did the whole top and this is why i have you handheld now and i did my spoiler as you can see you see the haze on every day because i wanted you to see how good this wipes off but this is the reason that i took you off the tripod so you can see how easily this wipes off or how hard it wipes off so let's see clean microfiber the other one is there and i have got to tell you i have never seen a product wipe off as easily as this is wiping off oh my goodness wow okay there's that i'm go back and hit the whole thing in just a second but i have never seen a product wipe off that easy and it's gone wow I'm amazed at how, and I'm not amazed by many things, but I'm amazed at how easily that comes off. So I'm going to put you back on the tripod. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the car and give you my final thoughts. As you can see, it goes on really, really easy. It literally took me five minutes to do the whole car. The top is already buffed. The sides, front and back, I have not buffed yet. But I wanted to do that off camera so that I can give you a final result, final view at the end without you seeing the gloss come to life, if it does. So let's see what happens. I... <laughs> It takes a lot to get me excited or to, to amaze me anymore with, you know, new products coming out daily, trying new products, the ease of which they come off and everything. But I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, Turtle Wags, you did a great job. I am amazed at this product. And the reason I say that is because I don't know if it's because I'm being double teamed because I use the polish and the wax. We'll find that out when I do the Tahoe. I'm going to do the Tahoe in a couple of days. And I'm just going to use the wax on that one. I'm not going to polish it. So we'll find out if it's trickery or if it's great products. But I personally believe it's great products. I'm going to show you the car in just a second. Just calm down, calm down. But for me to be really enthusiastic over a great product anymore, it takes a lot. Turtle Wax, you made me enthusiastic. I really like this product. 
So without further ado, let's get to it. Well, there you go. What do you think? It looks pretty freaking cool, don't it? Looks like it was just dipped in black paint and pulled out. Oh my God. And like I said, I don't know if this is because I did the polish and the wax or if the wax itself could take care of just making it look like that. We're going to find out. But wow. It, it, <laughs> that's all I can say is wow. I'm sitting here and looking at it and I'm thinking, to even get close to that in the past, I've had to spend hours and hours and hours working on it. And with this one, I probably have an hour in the polishing, maybe an hour and a half, and 10 minutes in the waxing, and it looks like that. Turtle wax, two thumbs up. There's that one, and there's that one. <laughs> Look at all the camera, yay! <laughs> so there you go, turtle wax, hybrid solutions, uh, so there you go turtle wax hybrid solutions ceramic acrylic black polish and black wax it's the real deal i like it but man i'm really pleased with it so until next time you guys and gals get out and enjoy your car i'm gonna get busy enjoying mine and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching